kids, we were always taught that it's very important to ask for permission to do anything and everything, right? Remember, we used to ask our teachers, Ma'am, can I please go to the toilet? Hi, welcome back. I'm Neharika. And in today's lesson, we are going to look at some expressions that would help you to ask for permission or for an approval. Now, as kids, we were always taught that it's very important to ask for permission to do anything and everything, right? Remember, we used to ask our teachers, Ma'am, can I please go to the toilet, right? So we used to ask for permission. Now, we are adults. Still, we need to ask for permissions or for approval. Perhaps at work or maybe ask a friend if in case you have to borrow something from her or if you want to take something from him, right? We have to ask for a permission. So how do you do that in English? Well, we are going to learn some expressions that would help you to do that. So the very first one is a very informal way of asking someone, what do you think about me doing something? Okay, at times, you know, you want to do something, but you're not sure if you are taking a right decision. So, you want to check with someone who is maybe well experienced, okay? And probably you want an approval from that other person. So, probably it's your dad. Probably you want to start your own business or you want to take up a new job, but you are unable to make your own decision. So you want to ask for an approval. So this is a good informal way of asking your closed ones. What do you think about me taking up this job? Okay, so it's kind of asking for permission for an approval and it's a very polite way of asking to your loved ones, okay? So do use it when you want to take an approval. The second one is, would you approve of? Now, this is a very hypothetical uh, phrase. Well, would you approve of me doing this? Okay, again, you're asking for permission. So since it's very hypothetical, but it can be very polite as well. So, would you approve of uh, me going to Switzerland by myself? Okay, so you're asking for permission, right? Another phrase that you can use is, do you think I could? Plus, you add a verb, okay? So the phrase will be, uh, do you think I could borrow your laptop, okay? So it's another way of asking for permission. Probably you need uh, your friend's laptop, okay? Maybe your laptop is not working, so you, you need to use your friends. So this is a good way of asking, hey, uh, do you think I could borrow your laptop? Okay, so you can use the phrase, do you think I could? And then add a verb to it, okay? The next one, would it be possible? And then you can follow it with an infinitive. So, for example, now, of course, you end up using this phrase because you think that there is a possibility, there is a probability that this person would allow you to do something that you're asking for. So, would it be possible um, you lending me your laptop? Okay, so this is another way of asking permission. And then the last one, would you mind if I... And then you follow it with a verb in the past. So, for example, how you would use it. Would you mind if I um, stayed here for a few hours? Okay. 
So you are using this phrase to ask a question, but you're adding a verb in the past. So would you mind if I stayed here for a few hours? Okay, again, you're asking for permission, right? So these are certain phrases that you can use in order to ask for an approval or for a permission. Now also, at times, people ask you something and you are at a position to either agree to it or deny it. So what are the phrases that you can use to agree or to deny? We are going to have a look at. So here are some phrases that would help you to give or grant permission. Very simple, sure. So someone would ask you for something and you are okay he or she doing it then you're gonna say oh sure the other one go right ahead okay go right ahead it's not a problem you can also add sure not a problem or go right ahead not a problem okay that's simple and then the third one please feel free to so someone asked you hey can I uh, use your laptop or can I borrow your laptop and you're gonna say please feel free to okay so that's very simple when you want to go ahead and say yes now at times we have to say no right there's no fun in saying no but it is necessary so how do you deny well these are the phrases that would help you to deny if someone has asked you for something so I'm afraid that's not possible. So just keep it simple. And of course, you've got to be a little polite. Don't be very stern or rude. You can say, oh, I'm afraid that's not possible. So probably a team member wants to do something different, okay? And you are the decision maker and you do not approve his idea. Then please don't discourage him, but just, you know, cut it short by denying it in a nice way. You can say, I'm afraid that's not possible, right? Another one, unfortunately, I need to say no. So again, some, uh, someone came up with a great idea, okay, and asking for your permission, but you think that this idea is not up to the mark. And you're sad, you don't wanna be rude by saying a stern no, you're sad. So in a very polite way, you say, uh, unfortunately, I need to say no. Okay, so this is another way of denying it. And then the last one, I'm afraid I would prefer if you don't. So this is perfect for parents. Okay, when kids come up to you and ask for permission or for an approval to do something, and you do not agree with them, then this is the best phrase that you can use. You can say, I'm afraid I would prefer if you don't. Now, another thing that you can do along uh, with this phrase is by giving options, okay? So give options, maybe give solutions. Probably whatever is asked, 